Alright guys, I'm back again with uh, Cameron's Escaping 2 and with my headset held in place by socks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm getting a new headset from for Christmas for my wife. I'm pretty sure that's what she had a reaction when I mentioned when I mentioned to my my brother that I was uh, thinking that'd be a good gift. She was like, um so I think that's what that's what she got me, which would be great. <laughs> this thing is barely hanging off my head. All right, let's load our game. Um, you can see the version number has increased again. It's an ever-growing, ongoing process to uh, keep this game afloat and fix the little errors. Um, so yeah, I fixed uh, when you query beached derelicts. Now it should clarify that each the gold and the gems both, each of them will give you that amount of treasure, not a sum total of both of them adds up to that amount of treasure. I fixed the uh, typo in the kobold ambush, so it doesn't say AA anymore. And uh, I did look at the code. Yeah, I figured it. It was pretty easy. Um, that was a. Th those were extra kobolds or an extra kobold generated by the um, by the uh, kobold ambush stuck in the top left corner. But um, it won't happen again. It's easy to. It was. It, it was easy to fix. All right. That's right. We got some smugglers over here. We got a trainer we really care about. We want to get to him first, if we can. Let's try and get to him fast. That's pretty useful. An arc. I'm not going to look at it yet. I really want to get to the trainer and see what he's got while well, I've got a lot of money. I guess we're going to kill this guy. Oh, we did zero damage to him. You hit the Banshee for zero points of damage. He did five points of damage to us. Six percent chance he'll... Oh, his mysterious healing force. He regained four health. That is probably a glyph of goodness somewhere on the level. Again, it's like a standard glyph. If any monster walks through it or if I walk through it, it'll be destroyed. But until then, every time I get hit in combat, it'll cast light healing at me. Um... We lowered his attack, which is great, but um, he takes he has 72% resistance to damage. So we need something that does more damage. So I'm going to switch over and take off my glaive. Switch over to the small axe, which will do a lot more damage when we hit. Alright, it's dead. Something broke. What broke? I didn't notice. Oh, my goblinoid fetish. Go back to the glaive for now. Oops, i got to do this. Because of our dual wielding, we gotta be specific about what we're trying to do when we do that. It's th it thinks we're trying to dual wield weapons. It's like, you can't do that with a shield. I'm like, I know. I know that. There's a glyph of goodness right there. Pantheonic Shrine, man. I guess I wouldn't want to use it anyway. If you successfully pray here, you gain strength and dexterity. Both of them increase by 10 permanently. But if you fail, it shifts all the monster attitudes in the game to sworn enemy, the worst status. Um, but it would be an evil axe would piss off my god and only a 47% chance of success. Pagthian doesn't look much like me. Basic electrical resistance for 25 gold pieces? Yes, I want that. Oh, that's because... I was, why, why is it not 30? It's because of our uh, human privilege. I was going to get some more gold. and Maybe we can get it to the top level. Electricity can be very freaking deadly. Um, so... Getting that up would be good. Damn it. I think Abram doesn't help me. Let's go get this Gorgon before it kills the smuggler. I can be a little bit cavalier. He's got against... Oh, there you go. Your cracked halo glows brightly. So, uh... looks at us, but we cheat death. Alright. Gain two skill points again. That's good. Um, I know what I'm not taking. That's electrical resistance. Uh, new racial perk, Child of the Mad God. This perk lets you automatically recheck for success when you anger Aunt Pantos while praying at his shrine. Move this. <clears throat> Doesn't work for his prayers, but it works for his shrine. Um, I think we're going with dexterity, right? We have three skills, skill points. Maybe it must have one left over from earlier. Um, eventually, we're going to want death cheating. It might not be the worst idea to take that now. But we do have the cracked halo to cover us for a while, so it's not like it's an imminent necessity. <clears throat> Could get this up, too, to make sure our stats on Let's do that. Fuck it, we got expert self-awareness and expert willpower. I don't think we've ever had that before. It leaves us in better shape than usual. Damn it. 
finding all these low quantities of gold, which is making it hard to uh, to gain the 90 I need to get the electrical stuff. Melgar's teleporting trunk. Anything we drop in there will still be in the trunk when we encounter the trunk again. The trunk has a 10% chance of appearing on any given level. Ooh. Got him just before he got that smuggler. You see how long it took me to kill him because of his high physical resistance because he's ethereal. Um, yeah, and the reason I wanted to use the axe of the Banshee is because every turn there was a chance it would instantly kill me, right? So I wanted to kill it quickly before it used up all my cracked halo glows. God damn. We need 90. We gotta waste another one of these golds just to pick this up. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. That's a bottomless pit trap. You do not want to fall in there. Bottomless pit, rather. Prayer of Estonis' boon. What does that do? Maybe we'll use it right now. You may attempt to use this prayer once by left clicking it as a good prayer. You have a chance of success based on your relationship with Vestonis. If successful, it has a 20% chance of granting you each of the following for 60 turns. Plus 30 defense, 11 squares sight range, all monsters flee except automatons. Your speed increases beyond the fastest monsters, and you can see all monsters. Each of those has a 20% chance of happening. Given our, uh, we'd have a 99% chance of, uh, of successfully making the prayer happen, and then each of those would have a 20% chance of happening. We'll save that for now. Carving knife we don't need. Straw hat we don't need. Little nub of frozen water there, frigid water. There's some gold. Faulty telepath would teleport us randomly somewhere. 50% chance it would teleport us randomly somewhere. I had to make a 50% chance and not automatic in case it blocked a hallway, of course. Oh, the glyph's gone. Alright, we have expert electrical resistance. That is great. Now let's go dump stuff in the temple if we know where it is. We do not know where it is. There it is. Let's go pick up all the gold and just dump it. If we can get up another level. Oh, yeah. We'll take mining next. Oh, I should have done that now, of course. I still have a bit. Let's take mining. There's a lair exit here. Enter cocoon. Giant moths nest deep underground, far from predators and human hunters. There's little of note about their lair. Sorry, guys. I don't know how well you can hear me because my earphone is like pulling my speaker away from my mouth. Save the gold from those stupid enough previously to enter their homes. We're not going there yet, but we'll probably exit that way. I am recording, right? Yep. That would have sucked. <laughs> One moment to get back to my black screen and then my windowed game. We can turn off the light in the room here so I can see a bit better. There we go. <clears throat> There's no more gold to pick up, right? Nope. If we're lucky, we'll find some trinkets to sell to these uh, smugglers. But who knows? I'd like to get my. I'd like to try to get my uh, mining to expert before yeah. Deal with him, but it, it may not happen. It probably won't happen. Just jumping. Garden rake. I'm not gonna piss her off with the corpses. Let's go use this. Fur armor, our aspis. We can't fix our turban if he tried. As you see, improvised helmets cannot be repaired. Um, I think the fur armor <clears throat> got it up 25%. The glaive. Nope, I broke it. <clears throat> Alright, let's start mining. No, let's not start mining. Um, let's drop just for the moment. We're not going to leave everything here, but let's just do this for a minute. Let's drop three things in here. So pick up, let's pick up three objects and start selling them to smugglers, whatever we find here. Boots of jumping I might want to keep, actually. I'll probably keep it. I don't have enough space. What's this? About? And where are they? Let's cast ESP again, just so I can find them easy. Okay, 
Come here, you bugger. You buy my straw hat? No, you won't. You will buy my unknown potion. I'm going to go drop the uh, straw hat in here because they won't pay anything for it anyway. I don't know why I put it on. Although, actually, I probably do. Let's drop the turban in here instead. Straw hat's not as good as the turban, but... Um, Draw the boots of jumping for the moment. Uh, we'll come back and get them. Oh, turban. Let's equip that. We'll go put the uh, straw hat in there. Let's see if they'll buy this thick aprons. I don't think they will. I have one gold, yeah. I'll take it. Garden rake. <clears throat> Improvised uh, pole arm that is. Too uh, too big. Let's go sell this to him. If he'll buy it, one gold shirt. How about this weathered tunic? Will you buy that? Yeah, for four. That's good enough. I could of course search these bodies, man. I'm tempted. These smugglers, who knows what you'd find, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. All right, man, we're getting the warning, and we haven't even mined yet. I'm not leaving yet unless I have to. Let us drop the straw hat. Let us pick back up the boots of jumping and the prayer of stoneness. We'll leave the rest of that in there, and let's start mining and hope for the best. One second, guys, I got to stretch. I'm getting a little pain in my arms, and I haven't yet started my writing day. That's not good. Stretch out my back in a minute, or in an hour, I guess. <laughs> Venting, ah, shit, we're gonna have to leave. The heavy scent of chlorine fills your nostrils. There's a surge of poison gas building below the floors of this level. It could burst forth at any time. Your safest bet might be to get far from here now. Poison gas fissures will continue to appear as long as you remain on this level. Let's go dump off this at least. We're leaving by this layer. Um, I'm gonna go. No, it's not gravity anymore. We're gonna generate gold as soon as we get out of here anyway. So let's get out of here. I don't want to risk uh, getting poisoned here. ESP. And let's go to the cocoon. Got a lot of uh, faith for that because we rescued four characters there. All these mods. We got a weapon merchant up here. And a potion merchant over here. Both of whom we want to protect. Both for Femorius' sake. And to see what they have to sell. Sell. Weapon and stone there, we'll check out in a minute. If we buy a potion of strength, we'll do that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. It'll help us get that weapon out of the stone. This guy's selling for the record. An adventurer, you've saved me a trip to the surface. You seek a blade, a bow? I'll try to accommodate you. Stocks are somewhat limited down here, what with the depth and impending apocalypse. Um, oh, that's kind of nice. Short sword of hero hunting. Uh, same as my other short sword, but plus 10 to hit and plus 50% damage to monster variants, so anything that has one of those swirling symbols beneath it. A filigreed mammon axe of the kin can be sold for five times its regular value, so we can buy it and sell it for a ton. Um, plus 5% experience from combat kills. That's pretty nice. Kester's backtracking. I don't think I want to use a missile weapon, but 1% chance per kill that stairs in the map become a ladder. That's pretty good. They want to start specializing in a weapon type soon. Let's see what this guy has. Let's use the uh, crystal ball. Based on our intelligence, there's a chance we reveal the entire map of the level, including every detail, no matter how what your cartography skill is. 16% um, chance for me. Nope. What are you selling, sir? Restorative potion. We still want that. Uh, let's buy it. Do we have room for it? All right. That'll get rid of any diseases we catch. So we kill the rest of these guys. Fuck. Stupid cave -in. Oh, he's a legend or something. Cocooned giant moth hero. Uh, so he has 20% resistant to ice. Doesn't hurt Russ in any way. That's mainly if you're dealing with spellcasters, or if you have a weapon, of course, that is that type of elemental damage. Um, he's already taken some damage. 
must have gone through the smoke over here. Um, drops two items if killed. Has higher defense and higher health than normal giant moths. So let's go kill him. Come here, Kakind. Found 61 gold worth of gems. Found a mallet. Let's check that out. Gained two max health. Health restore. Gained 11 attribute points. Gained one skill point. New class for genocide. This perk ensures you cause 33% extra damage in combat to goblinoids. Got it. We're taking dexterity again, I think. What is the mallet? Let's take a look at that before we make any choices of what we're doing here. It's a light blumped hammer. Just 9 to 18 damage. Minus 27 to hit. Could take it and... You know, learn bludgeoning. Start training up our bludgeoning skill. Hmm. I don't know, man. There's a lot of skills we can get that are great. Blocking might be useful right now. Repair, finish that up so we can keep our stuff in order. Ah, uh, traveling advanced. Let's do that. We can pick up the mallet then. Yeah, we got 25 inventory slots now. Won't use it yet. Oh, it made us dizzy. Let's get away from this guy for now. We choked in the smoke there. Um, let's actually go talk to this guy, but we have the money now to buy his weapon. I might get that Kin one. The plus 5% extra experience. Although, I don't really want to give up my shield, and I think that's a two-handed weapon, isn't it? Yeah, it's two-handed, man. But 1 to 29 damage. 1 to 29. Minus 30 to hit. If we do that, we've got to specialize in axes to make this worth it. I can afford it. Let's do it. Alright, so we're not using the uh, glaive anymore. We're not using the aspis. We are using the filigreed mammon axe. <laughs> we're going to start concentrating on doing massive damage, I think. Uh, let's, <clears throat> let's wait on this. We'll get, I should have gotten strength. Now let's go ahead. If we do this, it'll give us a legendary weapon. We got one. You pull from the stone the Cloud Hall Mallet. Well, maybe we're back to... Maybe we should have gotten, done that before we bought the thing. Plus 60 to hit versus giant types and gain double experience from giant types. We'll keep that on hand. We'll use it against giant types. But otherwise, we'll use this thing. Uncooked goose. I don't know if we've seen any cooking fires. There's a lever in bed in that smoke, damn it. <clears throat> Let's see if there's a map. No, fuck. Booby trap hex. Hex drains 153 points of faith. Put us down to 108. There are perks you can get that will stop faith drain. I don't think there's any, there are any skills that you can get. That, but there are perks. Unknown potion. Shit. Booby trap, a rolling boulder trap. You're not dexterous enough to ro avoid the rolling boulder, which does 32 points of damage. Rolling boulder traps have a chance of being dodged equal to your dexterity over 300. If not dodged, they do 5 to 23 physical damage for each 3 levels deep you are. We're probably at most risk at this point. I mean, we're, we're getting pretty good at combat. If we keep concentrating on combat, we can make sure we don't have any you know, worries about fighting monsters. But we are at risk from booby traps, obviously, and pit traps. I don't know what we can do about that. We can start pumping points into uh, secret detection and disarming. But because we're not good at rogue skills, it'll be hard for us to learn them you know, well. <coughs> Their anti magic glyph there. It's just a web trap, thank God. Let's find out what's in here. Summon and vermin spell, but we do not want that. Famorius will get mad if we summon stuff and it kills things. So we don't want either of those things. It's a ward that blocks monsters from passing it. Fuck. It's a shallow pit trap. Take nine damage. You see what I'm saying, though? We're gonna. Eventually, we're gonna come to a trap here if we're not. Uh, Starting to cover that base. We need a way to deal with that. As much as I'd love to just keep concentrating on combat and make us, like, fucking epic. Fuck. Steam burst trap. Let's just get out of the steam for a minute. Let it fade. There we go. We got a path out. I get to jump over one of these. We're gonna, let's, let's wait till the steam fades entirely, because we're going to want to check up here anyway. We don't want to jump back across the... Uh, 
the pits. All right. I mean, if we fall into this, we take 13 damage. If we fall into this, we only take 9. So let's go with this one. Okay. Pick up the gold. Let's bring it to the uh, temple if we can find the temple. Have we found the temple? Let's wait. No, that's not it. It's uh, steam. Here we go. <coughs> Do we only have one self-replicating coin now? No, we got two. <clears throat> Just start raising our strength again soon, too. Don't want that right now. Oh, we should have used that before we did the weapon and the stone. Not, not that it mattered, as it turns out. But that would have helped us a lot. You can pray to him to get a temporary uh, strength gain. Shock steel fested a dwarven god. Nothing in here. Might be a. Uh, oh. Press C to center our screen on ourselves, and there we go. Foul Stench Book might be worthwhile. We're going to start finding more powerful spell books soon, and we're not going to ever be able to cast anything other than low-power spells. This is mid-power, so we can't do it anyway. Too bad. Keep that for now, I guess. No, just drop that. Take a uh, an unknown potion. We got a lot of weapons. We can start dropping some weapons. We don't need this many. What does that lever do? Oh, it opens that part called a system we deal. Let's go eat this. It's rotten. We take two points of damage. Any more treasure to pick up? <clears throat> Could go into here, but I don't know if it's worth it. Cured of all diseases wouldn't help us. Gaining a random disease might not hurt us, but it might. Of course, we have disease resistance, but uh, fill with an ooze, that would suck, potentially. Blessed, we'd gain 1 to 10 strength, dexterity, or intelligence. Curse, we'd lose it. Aesthetic, we'd lose 2 objects. We could cast all our objects, but of course if you do that and you get the undertow and you're swept down a little, you got nothing on you. Sunken treasure would be nice. Yeah, I don't think we're going to risk it right now. Pool is too dangerous for us. There's a mage skill you can get called History, which, which can help you mitigate the negative effects of a lot of squares of that nature. But we don't have it. So I think we're ready to leave... Um, there's no more gold. Let's make sure. Let's look at the map. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, those two switches would open the port call. This is all, probably. Let's cast ESP. <clears throat> right, let's go destroy the... Fuck. Let's drink a health potion. Get back to 34 health. Yeah, we're going to have to start finding a way to mitigate this stuff. I think we have to, for a while, stop concentrating on improving our combat and start concentrating on protecting ourselves from traps, because that's what's going to do us in. Nineteen faith. Self-replicating cone gave me 85 and 28, which means I have five more. Do not on the faith front. Keep our open for any meat. There is a uh, cooking fire here. We have a uh, what? A dire wolf archmage. We could kill it, but it does have the ability to cast low power spells at us. Minotaurs. Those would be a tough fight, but we can beat them. Wouldn't mind healing up before we do that. <laughs> yeah. We do lower its attack every time we hit it. Becomes a little less dangerous after each round of combat. We got it. There's that axe damage we want. I think cast blur. It gave it 15 defense extra. Let's get away from it for now. We don't want to fight it while it's blurred. And that axe is vicious. We are almost dead, but if we kill him, I think we'll level up, will we? 
Is he worth 112? Yeah. If we kill him, we'll level up. He's faster than we are anyway, so fuck it. Found a map. Found a trance staff. Uh, Cross the annoyance threshold for animals. And we are leveled up. Two skill points. Another face in the crowd, level two, which means now there's now a 50% chance. Uh, the attitude remains the same every time we kill a monster. Two skill points, huh? Uh, that's right. Two is enough to get us one of these things. So it's either... Let's go with secret detection, because it'll help us detect pit traps, but it'll also help us find secret doors and stuff. Um, either that or disarming. Let's go secret detection basic. Use both our skill points, but whatever. We now have a 25% chance to identify any nearby pit traps, cave-ins, concealed or secret doors, or buried objects. For pit traps, I think it works only when you're about to step on it. I, mean, I could be wrong. I don't know if I've ever changed that or not. It used to be pit traps you only identify when you're about to step on them. So you can't just like pass your turn to look for them. I don't know if I like that or not. Don't need those right now. A hoe. Ooh, a tome and title remember this. Let's learn that. It's not gonna hurt anything. That will increase our memory skill to basic. And that, <clears throat> let's see here. We were only allowed to learn seven spells, now we're allowed to learn 14. It probably won't matter this late in the game for us because we're confined to using low power spells and it's gonna be uncommon for us to find low power spells now. Most of the spells we find are gonna be mid or high power um, at this depth of the dungeon, but we still might find a few. It certainly doesn't hurt anything to have that. Let's get rid of the uh, unknown potion. Oh, let's go cook this goose too, what are we doing? Give him a small health potion. And let's eat that to get 50 to 100 faith points, 93 faith points, good. <coughs> if we can save that up to 400, we can get um, a free skill point for it. That'd be pretty good. Tiny health potion, let's carry that, I guess. What's the monster sighted? It's a minotaur. They're not giant types, they are. You know, let's use the cloud hole mallet. And the aspis. We get double experience for killing it. I wish I'd thought of that earlier. Nice. Now switch back. I'm tougher than him. It does look at your your level versus their level is one of the things it considers. It also considers how wounded they are and that kind of stuff. How wounded you are. But it determines if they want to run Servalier. Let's get that. Um, let's drop the turban. Pick up this new helmet. So the turban was giving us six defense and it was improvised. This is not improvised. It gives us 16 defense. We can wear it too. It's a light helmet, so we're still allowed to wear it with basic armor use. Strength required is 80. We have 90, so we can wear it. I'll help our defense out quite a bit. <clears throat> Raised it by 10 over what it was. Table leg is an improvised bludgeon. We don't want that. Let's get this gold. I think maybe every time we get a double, every, every time from now on that we get two skill points, we'll spend it on either disarming or, or um, secret detection. And uh, the rest of the time we'll co concentrate on doing what we've been doing. <clears throat> oh, a rope of climbing. We want that. Oh, and a vortex orb. These are all good things. Okay, we're going to have to look and see about those things. Okay. There's two layer exits here. I think we've cleared out the level. We're going to want these things. Um, I think all three of them. So let's drop the unknown potion for sure. Yeah, the prayer of a stone is a boon. Let's... Do we need it? Let's drink the uh, tiny health potion. And let's pick up... Whoops. These things. Okay. So, the rope of climbing we can use only once, 
it'll bring us back up a level. Uh, so we'll go to a previous level in the dungeon, which essentially means you get to do two more levels, right? You get to do, if we're on level 10 now, we get to go to dungeon level 9, and then when we leave that, we go down to dungeon level 10, which we can do again. So it gets you extra time to grind. Vortex Orb will send you to a random location. It could be up, it could be down, it could be side to side, it could be a lair, it could be a legendary land. Um, and the Pilgrim's Token will teleport us to the temple whenever we use it. We have four uses of it. Very useful to get away from um, danger if we're really in trouble in the middle of a lava field or something, you know? But we're not going to use any of those right now because we do have a way to move on. We can either go in the Barrow. The horrible whites live in their Barrow tombs surrounded by the gold they were buried with. Frequently you'll find isolated crypts inside which can be further looted or disturbed to release something disturbing. Um, we don't want to go in there. Whites were terrified of, and on top of that, Femorius doesn't want us looting tombs anyway. Or we go in the Buckon Grove. Buckons do love their poisons, but they're fond of other potions too. It's not unlikely that you'll find a lot within, though surviving the onslaught of all those vicious poisonous runts will be a prerequisite to enjoying them. I think Buckons might be a goblinoid, or are they a person? I'm not sure. They might be a person. I can't remember. Maybe they're goblinoids. Let's go in there in any event. Got 57 gold and another 63 from that. We gotta get our strength up soon just to start collecting more gold, but I want this at 90 so we can learn expert level mage skills if the opportunity presents itself. A spellbook berserk, unfortunately we can't use it. Mid power. <coughs> be nice. It would increase our weapon damage by 50% for a while. We cannot use it. I'm not seeing these fabled bacons yet. There's one of the goblinoids. Ooh, yeah. We get double experience for killing them. They have quite low health. So let's go back to our glaive for now. Make sure they don't hit us so they don't poison us. I'll give a little better chance of that. Found a staff sling. Not going to use it. It's a missile weapon. We do, of course, have... Um, let's go kill this guy while he's asleep. What does he have? Let's switch to our... Uh, anything. Short sword is fine. Come on, man. So it does enough damage to kill him with one blow. Oh, we leveled up. So we're just getting the one skill point, so let's do that for now. Uh, class Precaution Goblin Territory 2. This perk lets you automatically disarm any kobold trap and automatically detect any kobold pit trap. It also grants a 50% chance to disarm any kind of arrow or spear trap or spot any pit trap. Wow. That's great. I'm not sure if it's spot any... I'll have to look it up. I, I don't know if I should clarify that or not. I don't know if it's spot any pit trap that is a pit trap, or if it includes variants of pit traps, like spiked pit traps and that, or if it's just straight up pit traps. I don't know. It was a long time ago I coded that. Let's take the intelligence for now. Um, with our single skill. Yeah, baby. What's up, bub? I can't tell if she's trying to get in. <clears throat> Could get her a pair up all the way. We take violence, do extra damage in combat. Blocking would help protect us from these guys for now. I don't know if we're going to use it enough, though, if we're going to stick with the double-handed weapons, so I don't know. Physical resistance would be great. We could take less damage in combat. <sighs> Maybe violence for now, because it's universal. No, let's take repair. Let's get our repair to experts so we can make sure we keep our stuff functional. Found a spear. I think that's better than the glaive, isn't it? it? Does 1 to 12 damage plus 19 to hit one handed. Let's drop our boomerang. Take the spear. And for, whoops, for now, let's use the spear. Spear and the aspis. Yeah, the axe would be overkill right now. And this lets us keep the shield going so we can hopefully not get hit as often and you know not risk being heard as often. A battle pick. We might want that. Battle pick does 1 to 24 damage, minus 27 to hit. It is an axe. Um, not as much damage as our axe of the kin, but it is one-handed. <laughs> so, let's drop the glaive and take the battle pick. Stick with the spear for now, though.
I don't know what the percent chance of, of uh, cudgel we don't need. That's a bludgeon. I think we're going to stick with axes and spears and shit. Um, only a 30% chance of poisoning us each time it hits. It does get two attacks per turn, though, if you've noticed that. That poisoned us. Let's kill this guy before you... Uh... Now it's cast Cure Poison. Uh-oh. Have we seen a... We can find an anti-magic glyph. This is where light would come in handy so we can see further and figure out where it is easier. It can be use useful to check back on the map every once in a while in case you're uh, just missing the uh, the graphic, you know? Let's kill it while we're poisoned, I guess. Can't poison us a second time. Alright. Two skill points. Let's put that into either pit detection or let's put it into disarming. Human privilege 2. Prices for products or services are... 30% lower than usual when we're buying, not when we're selling. Alright, um, let's go with um, Disarming, which will give us a 25% chance to ignore the effects of any booby trap at the moment we spring it. There it is. Let's finish this guy first, I can hear him. Oh, we got cured anyway, the poison left our system. Now disliked by all goblinoids, they all have plus 10 to hit us for the rest of the game. Unless we find a way to make them like us again. <clears throat> Which is not common, but not impossible. Alright, let's go look at this, see if it's a map. Nope. Let's start grabbing up treasure and bringing it to the... Uh, I'm not grabbing up. Let's go to the temple, drop off our treasure. After we... Um, level up the next level... Um, after we get the next uh, intelligence up to 90, just in case we need a trainer or something, um, we will put all of our points into strength for a while so that we can make maximal use of our double self-replicating coins. We're going to start taking better weapon and armor use soon, too, because we're going to start finding more powerful weapons and armors that we can't use. Prayer of Attack is nice, but it's an evil prayer to horn us, so we're not going to use it. Blank Leather Bound Spell. Let's take a look at that. Pyromancy and Summoning Spells cost 15 less. Aquamancy and Conjuration cost 15 more. We do not want to use that. Um, <clears throat> definitely don't want to use that. Oh, we opened it. 95 gold pieces inside that coffer. Required a Strength Check. Let's start fixing some stuff. Our fur armor's got to be getting near damage. It is. Aspis is a little less important, but it's in worse shape, so let's do it. Fur armor again. So you can see, getting our repair skill to experts made this a lot easier. Not flawless, obviously, but a lot easier. I don't think we need anything else to pick up. Let's reorganize this. Um... I'll stick with the spear for now, but I, th I might start concentrating on the battle pick soon. I might start concentrating on axes. Make our guy a damage a damage beast. We don't even need to gamble. I think that's about it, guys. Locked doorway over there that we have no reason to go through. Locked chest that we cannot pick because we don't have a lock picking skill. There's nothing out here that was like, oh my god, I gotta pick that up. Let's get out of here. That was very profitable. cast our long-lasting spell before we leave. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's a Glyph of Undeath here. That's fine. We don't even want to mess with that. Every time we kill a monster, the monster will come back to life as a zombie, unless the monster was already undead. Is that right? As long as one of these exists on a map, every non-undead monster or friendly character that dies will immediately return to life as a zombie. We want that, because we can kill a zombie for more experience. My uh-oh is about this guy, a Kalu Beast. 50% chance we lose 1 to 8 dexterity every time it hits us. We do have self-awareness, mind you, at the... Oh, yeah. At the maximum level, so we'll probably be safe from him. Drought, the air is dry, and in the light breeze that stirs, dust and grit kick up into your eyes. Something has happened here, causing the under-earth to be afflicted with a terrible drought. You will find no water of any kind here. If you want to know more about what that means, just for the record, um, 
When this event occurred, every type of water, ice, or pool square was turned to sand. Every type of water pit or water pit trap was turned to open pit or pit trap. Every well became a defunct well. Every fountain became a sampled fountain. Every mist and mist spawner square became empty space. And every water-based monster was killed. Incidentally, we've been thinking about this. We've uh, Our next holiday is in 22 days. is Freedom Day. When that occurs, our strength will be raised by 50 for 240 turns. It is currently Saturday, the 15th of Sun's Gleam. Sun's Gleam. Sun's Gleam is the summer season and the fourth month of the year. Its formal elven name is Ashtun. Yeah, and now I think about it. 55% chance to hit us. If he hits us, 50% chance we lose dexterity. But then only a 25% chance we lose dexterity because of our self-awareness. And then if we do, we'll only lose 25% much as we should. So we can probably take him on with, not impunity, but... Yeah, Calibus would drain your dexterity, but self-awareness protects you. Again. It's pretty good having that. Coming on the heels of the drought, that's pretty funny. Flooding. <laughs> There's a sudden sound of rock bursting as something gushing in the distance. That can only mean one thing. Water has begun to spill into this level. It will slowly spread from its point of origin until it fills the whole map. That's not good. We're going to just cut our visit to this level short. But, let's kill the zombie. <laughs> let's kill a few of these things, at least. Parsa extract. Uh-oh. Um, we want to kill this guy with our cloud mallet, don't we? Let's get off him for a second. Get double experience for killing him if we do this way. Not to mention the fact that we'll kill him easier. He had distance strike. He's a boulder throwing hill giant. Leveled up. Class perk improvement. The shuffling of clawed feet too. Querying this perk in this perk list will now reveal how many living goblinoids remain on this map. Not just if there are any. I forgot about that. I haven't been using that at all. There are currently zero goblinoids alive on this map. Totally forgot about that perk. We should be using it at the start of every level. Of course, we've had ESP going at the start of every level, haven't we? Speaking of which, we know there's a dire wolf healer out here and a worm. I would love to take this out of the level, but it may not happen if, uh, if we don't get it before the flood takes it down, you know? Zombified archer. Because he was uh, a missile weapon variant. This guy is, too. Alright. We're still using the damn cloud helm mallet. Let's get rid of that. Use a spear. Oh, he's a giant type as well. Parts of extract, what does that do? Doing so will grant us a 50% chance of poisoning any monster we hit for the next 90 turns and destroy the parse extract. Let's take that in, in exchange for... We don't need this many fucking things. Short sword. We still sell that filigree mammon axe probably for more than we bought it for, so maybe it's worth... Um, maybe it was worth buying it anyway, I don't know. We using a cloud hall? Yep. Alright, switch back to our spear. <laughs> Nothing on the shelves. We haven't found anything on the shelves yet. Falling Caltrops Trap Kit. I almost, I'm tempted to take that to see if my Caltrops thing works, but I'm not a good trap setter, so I'm not going to throw away the game for now. I'll just start a new, when I'm done this, I'll personally start a new game as a Crusader who starts with the Trap Kit. A Mythic Carved Bracelet Set. What is that worth? We take up two inventory slots, I could sell it for 340 gold. I mean, I'm tempted, but I think everything I have, I want. I don't need this many fucking things. I could get rid of, you know, the mallet and the small axe. I'm not going to. Uncooked mutton, uncooked pheasant, uncooked mutton in the meat locker. An axe. Better than my small axe and stuff if we're going to start to... Well, what is it like? It's two-handed. does even more than my axe of the kin. Let's, um... Is it medium weapon or is it, uh... It's a medium axe. I'd have to drop two things to carry it, but I will. Hold that in reserve. We can't use it yet because we don't have um, advanced weapon use. We can only use light weapons right now. Port. 
And a smoke trap kit. Uh, port would give us back some spell points and possibly hurt us or something. I don't know what it would do, to be honest. Give us back 6 to 72 spell points, but our strength would be half for 60 turns. We don't want that. Smoke trap kit would let us lay a trap that would, when monsters step in it, burst a bunch of smoke around that they could then choke on. The way is still open on this thing. If I want to take it, I gotta take it soon, probably. Oh, fuck. Sand trap. Sand trap halves your remaining health, causing 54 points of damage. And a booby trap is a web, uh, erasure trap, or web trap got erased. Sometimes in areas where, um, that are trap areas, you'll see dead bodies laying around. This guy probably succumbed to a trap. It was only one, so I didn't necessarily think if you see a lot in an area. It could be like just an area where a bunch of dead bodies are piled, but it could indicate that they all got killed by traps. Wherever this flood occurred, it hasn't hit us yet. Let's uh, let's jump this and fall into it, taking 16 damage. <laughs> Direwolf healer, let's try and kill him fast. He's dead. Oh yeah, forgot about that. I can hear the water. There it is. Yeah, we're not gonna be able. To, we're not gonna. We could fight our way down through these, through this stuff. And you see, the worm is trapped on the other side of it. I can cast ESP right now. Got enough spell points. I mean, we could have, if we'd have gotten here fast enough, we could have evaporated this. We could try right now. If we can evaporate the source of it, if we evaporate all of it, it will stop spreading, right? We would have to literally get all of it. I don't know if we're going to have enough. We could always get back and get the port. Yeah, if we can get rid of all of it, it will stop spreading. Because this is spreading water. That's what it created, got created when uh, the flood started. There we go. There's no more flood. <laughs> We've evaporated it all. <laughs> doing one less damage to him every time we hit here because we're on the sand, but whatever. He's doing one less to us, too. Treasure map revealed two treasures. Good one. we got the time to explore it now. Treasures could have appeared back where we were before, so we don't have to just confine ourselves to searching down here. Here's the way out. Apple, let's eat right away. We could use restored spell points and health points. Got back 10 points health and 45 spell points. Let's not. Let's see what's here. Walnuts might as well eat them right away. Got back 6 health and 10 spell points. Let's pick back our Parsa Extract. Ooh, we detected that. We detected a Pit Trap. Let's not step there. <laughs> we do have to get across this if we want more gold, and I do. Not to mention the fact we're going to leave via that. I think we're going to have to take a Health Potion. So let's take the small one. Like 19 health. All right, we left here. Oh, we have Boots of Leaping, too. The next time we have to go across, we'll use our Boots of Leaping. And that is right now, as a matter of fact. Boots of Jumping. There we go. Can only use them once per level, but we've got to cross it once. If, uh, if we didn't have the uh, self-replicating coins, it'd be like, let's just leave the level with this. But we do, so... Um, we need to drop this off, because we're just going to generate more money in between levels, right? I think that's it for us. I think we're done here. Oh, no, there's still some gold down there, damn it. <laughs> All right. All right, so far so good. <clears throat> we can destroy this now. It's a good act, destroying it. So make Famorius happy. There's no more use for it for us. Let's go gamble this. Why? Why not? Fifty percent chance we double it. Fifty percent chance we lose it. All right, so be it. Now we don't have to jump across the pit again. For the sake of eighteen gold, we can't carry any more, can we? Oh, yeah, we got one more space. 
we had two more, I'd be like, let's take that mythic carved bracelet set, but we do not have two more. And there's nothing here I want to drop. For the wooden buckler. Not using it anyway. We may not use it if we start switching to two-handed weapons as well, so. And we have good repair skills, so we can probably get our thing fixed. Wait for the next one. Damn it, hit us. Hit us again. Alright, we're in it. Let's ride it the last second, and then we'll cast. It's slow moving, right? No, it's, it moves every other turn. So we'll move to here. We can pass one turn, and then we'll cast ESP. Alright, self replicating coins, getting some money. We got a bandit up here. A brigand, pardon me. Steals gold or gems equal to damage times 10 on each hit. So every time it hits us, it'll steal. It can do up to 6 damage. It could steal up to 60 gold worth from us. So we don't want to fight it when we have any money. We want to get rid of our money before we fight it. Flame Flinging Lesser Demon. It has a 33% distance strike. Does fire based damage. We'll probably kill it quick. Made Fimorius happy. Might be worth looking at this. Mosaic. Standing adjacent to the mosaic gives the option of examining it once with a random effect. Gems. You gain gems valued at 1 to 10 times dungeon level. Pit map. All pit traps on the current map are revealed. Trap map. All booby traps on current map are revealed. Or curse glyph. Strength, dexterity, or intelligence is lower by 1 to 3, but our, our self-awareness would protect us a lot from that. So let's, uh, let's go ahead. You know, got 79 gold. You can see it's changed a little bit of graphic because we pried the little gems out of the wall there. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that's not a temple. That is a cult temple. The square gives you the option to restore your spell points in exchange for treasure at the rate of four spell points per one gold piece worth. Using this will automatically use all available treasure up until the point where your spell points are fully restored. It has a limited unknown number of uses. Uh, we're not going to use that right now. There's a mimic down there. Our ESP spell is revealing the fact that it's a mimic. A Wraith Bowman. They can be dangerous because they can drain your experience, but again, with willpower maxed out, they're not that dangerous to us. Um, I'm, I'm glad about these. Oh, there's, uh, there's Trorus, the mud-sucking champion, living in the mud up there. Normally, you couldn't see him more than one square away, but our ESP is revealing him to us. Also, a trainer up here. Let's go there immediately. Oh, we have lots of money. Tautia Warden Shrine. Normally, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty good, but we don't want to pray there because that, that's... That's Famorius's arch enemy, the goddess of corruption. So you do not want to pray there when you're risking Famorius. You lose 150 faith. Yes, let's learn advanced armor use for 42 gold pieces, and then let's learn expert armor use for 62 gold pieces. Excellent. So we can use any armor we find now, as long as our strength allows it. Still don't know where the temple is, so let's head down towards this wraith and this mimic while we know where it is. Get rid of it while we can see it. This is a map. No, it was booby trap. It would have been a falling caltrap trap, but we disarmed it. Health potion, we need that. How close are we to leveling up? Mm, dreadfully close. We'll pick it up later. Nice. Make sure I remember to take that health potion before we leave the level. Maybe we even should use it right now. We are in danger. If you fall into a particularly bad pit, we'd be killed. But we're so close to leveling up. If we find this temple, we're leveled up. It'd be a waste of a potion. can make us fly. It's an air shaft. We jump on it. It's got an updraft of air, which can make us fly for a while. Or we'd fall through to the next level. More likely the former than the latter, but one never knows. Spotted a potential cave-in. It's to the east. Got it. I won't step there. Let's not pick up anything right now, because... Uh, 
There's the brigand. I don't want to fight him when I got gold. Oh, there's a swamp golem as well. We didn't see it with the ESP spell because it is an automaton. ESP does not detect automatons. It's animated mud and sticks and shit. It is mud confined. It is immune to mud and quicksand. It is immune to charm type spells, stench, and smoke inhalation. 100% um, resistant to physical damage. We'd have to use our, our um, flaming darts to kill. It would be our only option. 100% resistant to toxins. We couldn't even use our parsa extract on it. 15% chance it causes tsunami fever on hit. I mean, I'd love to kill it. Oh, we can get it with an exorcism. Let's get it with an exorcism. It's a diabolic. But hell, maybe we can do that right now. I'd like to... You know what? No, let's find the damn temple first. There. Up a level. We get all our health back. Then let's go face it with an exorcism. <clears throat> okay, we got two skill points. So let's put it into um, disarming, I think, again. This perk automatically grants us a bonus attribute point each time we level up from now on. Uh, we're putting this into strength, right? Um, we want to take... Oh, we have three. Uh, let's put it into... Why did it say two? Unless we have one left over from earlier, that's a that would be a mistake. Like we might have gained three because we gained one from the rapid improvement and or whatever it is, the, the human aspect of us, and one from accumulated intelligence, which would be three. But I've, I've never seen it make that mistake before. I'll have to look back again at the, at the videos and see if I'm uh, if there's any mistake here. We have enough. You know what? Um, Let's keep our options open for the moment. I guess we're with violence. Which would give us... Um, our strength damage is... The, the damage we do when we do bonus strength damage is 25% higher than it otherwise would be. So we would now do... I didn't notice, but... We have 33% chance of doing 1 to 10 extra damage whenever we hit. Um, let's also... That might be wrong. Um, I, I in the previous update I put up on on you know for for uh, download, I had modified the way violence skill worked because I thought it was a little too weak. Um, I put it back because it was just way too powerful the new way. The question is, did I adjust it everywhere I needed to? Um, let me see here. Um, on a successful melee hit, you have a percent chance equal to your strength over three uh, of doing bonus damage. Um, but not strength over 3 plus 25%, which I think that is saying. So I think I have to fix that. I think it's not really a 33% chance. I should have a 30% uh, a chance, basically. Right? Unless there's something else I'm, I'm forgetting. Some perk or something. I don't think there is, though. I think that's an error. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. Let me write it down for myself. Um, it, it would probably not be calculated wrong. It's probably just cal like in terms of actual like, during combat. It's probably still calculated wrong here. That's my guess. Um, violence dash inventory. Hopefully, I'll remember that. All right, let's move on. When we finish this level, we'll call it quits. I think guys, it's probably about an hour there. Ah, shit. Oh, we can face him now. We don't have any uh money. There, he's dead. There's two of them here. But yeah, we can use our god, our goddess, pardon me. 45 is all it costs, faith points. A 75% chance of instantly killing any diabolic. So that'd be worth it to get those guys. They're also giant types. No, they're not. They're just, just diabolics. Insta-kill. The diabolic is dead. We get 20 of it back as well, because he likes it when we kill uh, Diabolics. Obviously, we can't use it on Torog. Tororus, pardon me, his name is. Um, he gets two attacks per turn, right? There's a little tiny uh, little tiny glitch. Um, you can see down in the bottom right, uh, the, the words are kind of mashed together. I can fix that. Um, mud sucking... Champ spacing. I'll fix that in between games. Um, matter of fact, let's see, let's see see how we're doing for timing right now. 
It's just, it, it is now an hour right there, right when I said it. It was exactly to the second an hour. I'm going to call it quits right here, guys. That way I can fix that in between, make sure it did work. It's a chance to test it, right? Um, but when we come back, we will continue our great adventure with our great adventurer, whose name eludes me. I've forgotten his name. Hebex Greenschwartz, uh, the human crusader. All right, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll be back later today. I have to now get to work. I, I would love to sit and do this all day. Fuck would I ever love to do that. I miss the days when I worked on this full time. But uh, if I want to continue paying rent, I've got to do some writing. So there you go. Talk to you later. Quit and save, yes. Quit, yes. Stop streaming, yes. <laughs>